Okay, we're here in Splash Up. What we're going to do is we're going to jump right in. We're going to file, open, and we're going to put in a URL. We're just going to hit open. We're going to go around and smudge some areas on the D. I'm just going to try and uh, do a whole bunch to show you what it ends up looking like. It actually comes out pretty well, but I just went down to that uh, finger, um, and uh, you just uh, drag over the edge of your image, and it starts to smudge it into other areas of the image. I'm just going to do the top there. Um, if you just sweep your mouse over it, it gives you a bit of a different effect. Now we're going to go here into the eraser tool, and uh, I'm just going to erase there. Uh, the little white and gray boxes just mean there's nothing back there, and uh, the layer below there will actually show through when you put an image there. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're actually going to start uh, painting over there with a white paint. I'm going to bring it over to the red just to make it a bit more interesting. Okay, I'm just going to paint some red on there. Now right here we're going to go into our gradient tool. Now here you have to remember a gradient does take priority. So if you do draw a gradient, it is going to go over your entire image, unless you stick it on its own layer. What I'm doing here is I added another stop in the gradient, and now I'm uh, creating an interesting enough gradient, and you just add ones by clicking in the spot. You want to add them, and you also can change the color. I just added a new layer. There is an option to uh, move this down. It's hard to see at the moment. So I just moved that down. Now I'm going to stick the gradient on that lower level. You do that by just going up. The gradient's in there now. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm just going to hide that by clicking I, and that's what the gradient looks like. So now I'm going to go into... Uh, I added another layer there, and now I'm putting another gradient on just to let you know I'm putting in a square to show you here. Now uh, I'm going to give you a couple different colors of squares to make it a bit interesting. Now you can hide them. You can show them if you want to. I'm going to go here into the draw tool and just uh, draw a little uh, bunch of lines. And you go up here to the lasso tool. Now here you can actually cut out certain areas. I'm just going to cut out a small area there. Now it's only cutting into the selected layer, which is the top layer at this moment. And then I'm you can uh, that kind of uh, narrows down your area of work. You can move that around if you want to. And then uh, you can use different tools, and that's like your boundary, so you can't go outside of them if you use the different tools. Now I'm going to go to the eraser tool and show you how if I'm trying to erase out there, it doesn't do anything, but then once you try and erase in there, it erases whatever is selected inside that layer. And that does it for us today. Please subscribe, and that does it for digital design and innovation here on YouTube.